Matthew here with a training, off-season training video for you. It is October the 8th or 9th. It's a Sunday in 2022. Historians can look back on this and wear that one out if I'm wrong. And it is uh, half past nine in the morning and it has just gone up to double digits to 10 degrees. Uh, I'm in sunny Salford, my, my home city. At Albert Park Road just behind Salford University which is not in the background I thought I would have had a nice shot at Salford University and I'm at uh, Albert Park playing fields to try some flag football we had the Manchester Crows flag American football team come down to do some training and uh, I've come to see the flag football side in the off season to see what's involved in their training and see if there's any benefits that could help me out with uh, some baseball i'm quite a big nfl fan anyway and i'm just here to have some fun and see what's going down so we're very excited today a bit being 10 degrees you know i'm dressed appropriately i have my shorts on uh, i have my hot vimto at home uh, tell, tell me you're northern without saying you're northern Hot Vimto was delicious, did nothing to gear me up for coming out for this though. Just made me want to stay in and get snuggly. But here we go, I can see some uh, Sunday morning footballers having a kick around, getting warmed up. Some kids doing laps of a playing field. You know, drill them, drill them hard, that's good. Yeah, tiny kids as well, just, <laughs> just running. Great coaching, you know, getting proper warmed up. Uh, so hopefully I'll get some good footage for you today for this flag football and uh, if you can think of any other sports I should try in the off season uh, let me know and I'll see if I can find one in the Manchester area and give it a try. See you on the field. It's one thing I never get used to doing this is just walking around with a camera. I mean this would have been different a few years ago but <laughs> is anything stranger than a random guy with a massive ginger beard? that looks slightly homeless and short, that's just sort of hanging around a playing field in the middle of Salford and just talking to himself. Who knows? Well, I'll meet him there with Carby, have yourself. <laughs> <laughs> you. Yeah, I did two reps on the end of the day. And then swap. So we've yeah, this is what we're to do. I think no, I'm not going to go. Oh, I'm just going to walk. I'm just going to stand up. I'm just going to stand up. I'm just going to stand up. I'm just going to Ready, go! <laughs> oh. Nice! This is going to be a complicated play. That took a lot of explaining. It's definitely two stops now, so it's really simple. Oh, shh. Nice. Cool game, Phil. Oh, thank you. I'm going to try and get the uh, first player mode on Sparrow. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Ready, go! Oh! Ready, go!
audible. Oh, that was a tight window. This is a completely different kind of Fitness. auxiliary. Yeah. Like when you're in the batter's box, and you've got something to control a ball at you, 80 yeah, mile an hour. Like you have to be calm, don't you, almost? Yeah, and you yeah. sort of, it's like a weird game of chess. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. And this, yeah. it's like a completely different sort of battle. Like trying to do a fake, but trying to... It's pure intense for like three seconds. Yeah, as soon as I get to that line, my ass is switching. <laughs> definitely, you feel it's like a different type of pressure. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's more like physical than the skill, I guess. Well, there is obviously a fact there, but it's like full body. Crazy. Well, just got back to the car. Make sure my hair's not a mess before I start doing this. Okay. That was a hell of a lot of fun. A, a lot more fun than I thought it was gonna be and Surprisingly, since I've not done that apart from maybe drive to throw about with a friend in a car park or something similar, that was absolutely amazing. Big thank you to all the Manchester Crows team uh, for making me feel a part of that. And you know, there was no rookiness about it, it was straight in there with a really good warm up, lots of like stretching and yoga in there. Really nice warm up, felt really loose and limber. Similar to the baseball side, off with a bit of throwing. Um, but instead of running the bases, we did shorter sprints, stretches incorporated in that too. Then we started doing some wide receiver drills, ran a couple of routes, that was lots of fun. Lots of fun. Uh, again, a lot harder than I thought it was, but I was lucky that I was taught how to throw a ball, kind of how to catch the ball, receive the ball properly too. I was uh, learned to pair of gloves, which was very helpful, because I don't think I would have had half as much of fun with just bare skin. Uh, the, the gloves uh, got like a bit of stickiness to them when you, you grip it. I did bring my batting gloves along, thinking that would have helped. Okay, I didn't use them, let me a pair of gloves, so I probably smell like, like a bad night out. Just, it's amazing. Um, how would I, how do I think this would help me in a baseball sort of sense? Well, first of all, it's played outdoors. You've seen the area, nice surroundings. I've developed tinnitus or some sort of ringing in my ear. It's not been diagnosed, but there's been a ringing in my ear for a few months, which is not fun and I completely switched off from it today. It has that same outdoor benefit of playing baseball, just being around some great people, talking about the sport that you love. I'm, I'm a big NFL fan anyway. I really enjoy the sport, I love watching and playing the fantasy side. Again, just talking shop with people, talking drills, um, techniques, just trying to pick as much information as possible, it was great. And um, cardio, I've, I don't think I've done that many sprints or it's so explosive. Completely opposite to baseball, but again, as a fitness point of view, probably wouldn't use the, the explosion of it. But again, from a baseman point of view, you would have to be explosive from getting away from that. So I've definitely felt the, the benefit there for being quick off the mark and footwork, definitely footwork. There's some trickery involved. So if you watch NFL, you know all about that anyway. But yeah, just feeling, um, feeling really good after that. I've just had such a great time. Again, just exploring something that isn't football. It's just something different about the sport. I kind of can't put my finger on it, but if you, if you played it or you've been involved in this sort of flag like environment or any sort of American football, it get, like I was talking to one of the chats before about how when you're at bat and you got that first at bat and how nervous you feel about stepping up to the plate and how it's just you and the, the pitch in that little duel and the adrenaline's pumping. But as soon as you're all lined up on there and you've got someone staring you down and you, you're trying to make sure you don't run to someone or mess your route up and you know your your catch is so important to those players in that team. 
heart, heart rate went definitely it's so good it's so much fun have a look google have a look around where your flag football team is and give it a try for yourself inquire about rookie taster sessions and get involved you know i've just spent two hours outside with a great bunch of people you're doing it yourself playing baseball what better way to spend a sunday right that's all from me let's right, see what i can get up to next time around see if i can find some other sports to get involved in see how i can can uh, make a fool of myself oh also in this as well uh, hand eye coordination following a ball to your hands so there's no mitt there or glove to catch to catch the balls bigger naturally but again it's still still trying to get your uh, body into position your hands yeah really good great fun thank you very much manchester crows for having me and hopefully I'll see you again soon.